We're going to look at some of these money line odds on the game, uh, on the MLB games for tonight. We're only going to look at the afternoon, I mean the nighttime, uh, the afternoon, probably by the time this video comes out, the afternoon games will probably already started. So let's look at some of these uh, nighttime evening games. We're going to look at the odds and we're going to kind of see which way we uh, want to go on these uh, odds. First game we're looking at Mets versus Royals. It's at KC. As you can see, sharp money's coming in on uh, KC at plus 176. And you got a lot of money coming in on KC. It's getting 89% of the money, 38% of the bets, plus 175. Um, best odds you're going to find is plus. Minus 167 Mets plus 150 for the uh for the Royal Royals. Second game, we're not gonna look at like I said, we're not gonna look at any afternoon games. We're gonna look at Baltimore uh, at the Blue Jays. Baltimore's plus 120 on a row. Blue Jays are minus 150, and we're looking at the uh money line here. Um, big money's coming in on Toronto. Toronto's getting 89% of the uh, money, 34% of the bets. Minus, you can get it at, for minus 122. That's the best you're going to find. Uh, you can get it plus 105 for, for KC. I mean, for, for the Orioles. It's a straight up money line. And who's going to win the game? Um, plus 105. Not a bad, uh, bad minus 122 isn't bad either. Uh, like I say, the uh, big money's coming in on Toronto 89% of the money and 34% of the bets. Let's look at Arizona at San Francisco. Open at plus 135, Arizona Road minus 175 for the Giants. Currently, still minus 175, plus 155. Uh, you got sharp money coming in uh, on Arizona, plus 155. Big money coming in on Arizona, 64% of the money, and 31% of the uh, bets are coming in on Arizona. And the line is currently plus 155. And next game we're going to look at is Tampa Bay. New York Yankees opened at minus 110 for both teams. Currently, it's plus 102 for Tampa Bay, minus 120 for the Yankees. Sharp money's coming in on Tampa Bay. Big money's coming in on New York. It's getting 50, 85% of the money and 75% of the bets. Next game we're going to look at is Minnesota at St. Louis. Uh, game oh, they open at minus 130 for the Twins, uh, plus 107 for the Cardinals. I think the Cardinals are in home. Currently, it's minus 130 for the Twins, uh, plus 117 for the Cardinals. You got big money coming in on, on St. Louis, 53, 53% of the money and 35% of the bets. Plus 117 isn't a bad value. Something to definitely look at for the, for the home team. Next game we're looking at is Cincinnati at Chicago. Open at plus 130 Reds, minus 165 Cubs, Cubs in home. Currently it's plus 125 Reds, minus 145 Cubs. You got sharp money coming in on Cincinnati. And you got big money coming in on Chicago Cubs. It's getting 89, 88% of the money and 47% of the bets. Uh, So, hey, minus 145 on the Cubs is, isn't that bad of odds. Um, if we really think Cincinnati is going to do it, the sharp money is coming in on Cincinnati at plus 125. Next game we're going to look at is Chicago White Sox at the Texas Rangers. Open at plus 100, White Sox on the road. Rangers minus 120 at home. 
This line has shifted big time, uh, plus 130 for the White Sox, minus 143 for the Rangers. Sharp money's coming in on 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 Texas, minus 143. Uh, no real big money action on this right 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 now, but the sharp money's coming in on Texas at minus 143 to win the game. Next game we're going to look at is Oakland at the Dodgers. Open at plus 260 for the Athletics. Minus 320 for the Dodgers. Huge. Hasn't changed too much. Plus 234 for the Athletics. Dodgers minus 265. I would not. I don't bet on plus minus 200 games uh, when it's minus 200. So Dodgers will probably win this. Uh, sharp money is coming in. And no, not, nothing really is coming in for, you know, betters are staying away from this game. Too heavily favored to open. Uh, if you take anything, you just probably take the plus 230 for the athletics on this one. Uh, but minus 265 doesn't make it a profitable bet at all. And the last game we're going to look at, and that was the last game, the uh, Detroit Tigers versus Pittsburgh game is uh already started also we have a few players that have uh we got a few players that uh have been betting on sports lately uh action network reports that the broncos defensive lineman Place wagers on five games involving his team last season. I haven't seen too many details on this one. I have to get a little bit more information about this one. The second one is Iowa State's current starting quarterback, Hunter Deckers, is accused of placing 26 wagers on Iowa State game, uh, including 2021 uh, ISU versus OSU football game. This was when he was a backup. He's projected to be their starter. The coach is kind of letting it play out right now. Deckers is saying uh, this, this was a DraftKings account. He's saying it was his account, but other people were using his account. Uh, his lawyer is saying, hey, that's how it is in America today. We use other people's account. We use other people's Netflix accounts and so on. Probably not going to hold up. Deckers is looking at being suspended and marked ineligible permanently. Uh, they have some pretty uh, – not as, the rules are not even really that strict for, for sports betting in college football, but they're laid out. The players know where they are. So we do have two players that have been caught uh, betting. It's going to be a lot more. Uh, they're just like everybody else, like to do a little DraftKings, like to do a little fantasy, uh, no different from anybody else. It's just that they have specific rules they have to follow. So two players. I'm not going to try to pronounce the Broncos uh, defensive lineman's name, but you see it on the screen. And Hunter Deckers, the current starting quarterback for Iowa State, have been uh, caught up in betting on on sports. And it looks like both of them betted on sports involving their own team. So that's pretty much all I have for today. I'll be back tomorrow. We're going to look at more lines for mlb to help us determine which way we're going to go on those games and uh, any other news that pops up until the next video